What a beautiful day. Just the sort of day to ask. What sort of present do you get for a very angry rhinoceros? Well, whatever it is, you'd better hope he likes it. <laughs> more tea, little Brian. Another lettuce leaf. A touch more lettuce would be most welcome. Thank you, Ermitrude. <laughs> and now, a little song. <laughs> <clears throat> Pink is my colour, Armintrude's my name. This is my tea party, and I'm very glad you came. So am I, Ermintrude. <laughs> this lettuce is delicious. And the song? Uh, good wasn't the word. You're so right. Now, some people, naming no names... Dougal? Yes, Dougal. Might have made rude remarks about my singing, but not you, little Brian. You are a true friend. Oh! <laughs> well, I must say, that was very kind of Ermintrude. What was it she said? You, Brian, are a true friend. I must do something to show my appreciation. A little gift of some sort would be in order, I feel. Good morning. Hello, Mr Grimsdale. There you go, Florence. Oh, good to see you, Mr Grimsdale. You didn't forget my pie. <laughs> no, Dougal, more than my life's worth. You look a bit hot, Mr Grimsdale. Would you like a glass of lemonade to cool you down? Most kind, Florence, but I can't stop. I've arranged to meet Mr Rusty in half an hour, and I've still got one more delivery to make. Well, we'll <laughs> do that for you, won't we, Dougal? What? Now, Mr Grimsdale, that last delivery. I don't know what to say, Florence. How about no thanks, I'll do it myself. A lettuce for Brian. I'll make sure he gets it. You're a very kind person, Florence. Cheerio, then. Bye, Mr Grimsdale. Something the matter, oh. my little squidgy pal? Oh, hello, Dougal. Hello, Florence. What are you up to, Brian? I've been wrapping this present for Ermitrude for what feels like years. Oh, parcel wrapping is not what you might call my forte, and now I'm too tired to take it to her. Well, don't worry, Brian. I'll finish wrapping it for you, and Dougal will take it to <laughs> Ermintrude. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Has it come to this? A dog of my breeding... Huh? Hello? What's that? Someone with a buzzsaw, perchance? Ah! It's alive! <laughs> what is? What is it? Like, where? Oh, it's you! I thought it was a buzzsaw or a motorbike and it was you all along. <laughs> Dukester. Have you been having one of my dreams? Of course I haven't. I heard you snoring and I... I didn't. Didn't what? Hear me snoring? No, you biffy bunny. That's because you were asleep. Ah, oh, that would like explain it. Explain what? Um, no. You got oh. me there, man. <laughs> what was the question again? Oh, for Pete's sake. I've got better things to do than... Oh, where's it gone? Oh, oh no! Come back! Tell Ermintrude. Oh, I know. Nothing. That's what I'll tell her. I'll hide it. 
Brian will soon forget all about it. Yes, of course. <laughs> It'll be as if this never happened. <laughs> I do hope Ermintrude was pleased with her present. <laughs> Hello, Ermintrude. Brian! This is an unexpected pleasure. Twice in one day. Yes. <laughs> Brian, dear, are you feeling quite all right? Yes, thank you, Ermintrude. <laughs> Never better. Um. Yes? Uh, did you like it? Our tea party, dear heart. Y yes, of course I did. No, I, I meant your present. What present? I haven't had any presents. Well, not today, anyway. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, well, I'll be on my way then. <laughs> Goodbye, Ermintrude. <laughs> Goodbye, little Brian. Ah. <sighs> The sweet smell of pie. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. <gasps> oh. What? Stone me. It's Brian. What am I going to tell him? <gasps> Hide. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe Dougal got lost. Or maybe he was waylaid by prison thieves. Or, or maybe he... he... I would appear to have run out of maybes. <laughs> Hello? Anyone at home? Oh, hello, Brian. Uh, you haven't seen Dougal, have you? And nor will you if I have my way. Well, he can't be far away, Brian. He wouldn't leave an uneaten pie behind if he was going to be out for long. Dougal? Dougal? Well, I don't know where he is, Brian, but it seems a pity to let a perfectly good pie go to waste. Would you like it? No! Oh! Oh. Dougal, what are you doing up there? Oh, you know, just uh, checking, checking uh, the, the guttering and uh, so forth. A very sensible move, Dougal. You can't have your gutters too clean. But what happened to Ermintrude's present? She says she hasn't received it. Dougal, come down here this minute. <sighs> Hmm. Dougal, what happened to Ermintrude's present? Oh, it was terrible. There was this gang of parcel <gasps> thieves. Oh, my! They jumped out at me Dougal. I... Uh, there was this giant bird. A giant bird? Uh, and it flew down. I tried to fight it off, Dougal, but... what have you done with Ermintrude's present? Oh, it broke. It what? broke? How? Well... The truck ran away and it crashed into a rock and and it broke. I didn't want Brian to be disappointed, nor Ermintrude, so I hid it. Dougal, sometimes you amaze me. Didn't you think we might be able to mend it? Oh. Come on, Dougal, lead us to the hiding place. I'll just have a little something to keep me going until supper. Dougal! Oh, oh, this way! Here. I'll put it in here. Right. Let's see just how badly broken it is. Oh. Hey. Crazy noise, man. Like, kind of way out. Well, well, well. Would you believe it all in one piece? You... You mean it was never broken? The noise these wind chimes make must have made you think they were. Oh, all that trouble for nothing. Well, there wouldn't have been any trouble if you hadn't been so sneaky. I'm sorry, Florence. I just didn't want to get into trouble with anyone. And because of what you did, you got into much more trouble. I know. I've been a very silly dog. Brian, can you ever forgive me? Of course I can, Dougal. No harm done. Oh, thank you, Brian. Thank you. That's what friends are for. Yeah, man. Oh. That's like what friends oh. are for. <laughs> Come on, let's get this present to Ermintrude. Oh, how too, too divine. Brian, dear heart, what a simply gorgeous gift. Oh, <laughs> You know, uh, it's nothing. Just my way of saying thank you. How absolutely sweet. 
And my way of thanking you, little Brian, is to give you a big, wet kiss. Mm. You, you, that's quite all right, Ermintrude. No need. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Brian. No, 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 it's quite all right. <laughs> Do you know, something tells me it's time to party. <laughs> <laughs> It was time for bed. <laughs> 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 <laughs>